And for me, driving in Germany is so much better than driving in USA. Welcome back to Jay Stefan, and if you're already not subscribed, please subscribe and help our channel grow. Today, we will be talking about driving in Germany and comparatively how different it is from USA to Germany. And for me, driving in Germany is so much better than driving in USA. But before we get into why driving in Germany is better than USA and my personal experience and why I feel it's, it's much better than USA, I want to give you guys a quick introduction of the German system compared to how it is in USA. So first up is Autobahn. Autobahn, I know it's famous all over the world. Everyone thinks that there's no speed limit. Everyone wants to drive on the Autobahn. I know, in, especially in USA, it's a huge thing. Anytime everyone that is a car enthusiast or a driving enthusiast is so excited about talking about Autobahn. I met a lot of people in USA that have not been to Germany yet, but their biggest idea of Germany is them driving on the Autobahn. So what is Autobahn? So there's actually multiple uh, roadway systems in Germany and Autobahn, to me, it's equivalent of what we would call in USA a freeway. But there are differences. So Autobahn typically is two lanes and that's how it is in Germany. It's just two lanes, except when you get into closer to a city, then it becomes multi-lane, similar to how it is in USA, but in USA, I think predominantly we have multi-lane, except I know on the I-10, that's the only uh, freeway that I've been on, on a long drive. So once you get past most of the urban areas, then it becomes more of a two-lane freeway. There is a general misconception in USA, which I had as well before, that the Autobahn is just free for all, there's no speed limit, and that's what a lot of people talk about in USA. But that is not true. Most of the Autobahn, when you drive, there is no speed limit. But there are many areas on the Autobahn where there is a set speed limit. There is a recommended speed limit on the Autobahn, which I believe is 130 kilometers. Um, but if there is no speed limit, then it's basically free for all. You can literally drive as fast as your car can go. So, which is really amazing. It's actually a really cool experience. But in the beginning, it was so stressful for me to drive on the Autobahn uh, because cars just really, they drive, drive. But they're so organized that after you get a hang of it, then it becomes actually very easy and stress-free. So in the beginning for me, it was very confusing because I felt that it was very stress-free compared to driving in USA on a freeway. But at the same time, I was so stressed out because the cars were just zipping past me because I was just too scared to drive too fast. And if you're driving slow, you have to keep on the right, but you use the left lane only to pass. And every time I would, I would want to pass the car that was driving in front of me, which was slower than me, I always felt like there was immediately a car behind me waiting for me to pass the other car. So it was very stressful for me. And that's why it was driving in Germany at that point for me was so stressful, but yet at the same time, so stress free. The sign for the Autobahn, it's always blue and white. So when you do come to a section where there is a speed limit, there, the signs are posted on either side of the Autobahn and they're circular signs and it will tell you what the speed limit is within that section of the Autobahn. Once the speed limit is no longer applicable, there will be a sign of that speed limit with a multi-stripe cross out. That's letting you know that the speed limit is no longer applicable and you can drive as fast as you want. What I really love about the German system is that everyone follows the rules whereas in us people use all lanes all the time you will find the slowest car sometimes in the fourth lane which is the fastest lane but in germany people only use the left lane to 
past the car in front of you. So what you do is you're driving, you're driving fast, you come up to a car which is driving slower than you, then you change your lanes to the left lane, pass the car, and then get back into the right lane. Unless there are multiple cars that are driving slow, then you would keep yourself in the left lane until you get to a point where you are able to get into the right lane and you basically keep doing this. Whereas in US, it becomes so stressful for me because I'm driving in the fast lane, then all of a sudden there is someone who's driving really slow. Another thing about the Autobahn is that there is a Rasthof in every, every I believe, 30 to 60 kilometers. Um, and that's something we don't have much of in in USA. I think once you get out of the, the, the cities, then there is a rest stop, but it's for miles and miles and miles, there is no rest stop. Whereas in Germany, there is a rest stop every 30 to 60 kilometers. The rest stops are actually really nice here comparatively in um, to what it is in USA. In USA, I feel like it's just like a, a typical truck stop and it's not nice. Whereas in Germany, there is a, uh, a rest stop where you could get gas and you could buy, has a lot of different snacks. They sometimes even have hot food and it's actually pretty good quality food uh, if I compare it to what we get in USA. So there's, there's a lot more stops where you can take a rest, you can use the restrooms and so forth. And the drive also in Germany is just so much nicer because it's windy and it's, there's uh, greenery in Bavaria. I'm not sure about North Germany, but in Bavaria, I find the drive is always very nice. The other thing I find much nicer on the Autobahn is that when you get from one Autobahn to the other, typically always has the the city that it's going towards. So there's always like a big city name that it's going towards. So you know which way you're going. Whereas in USA, for example, if you're on the 405 freeway, it'll just say Santa Monica freeway, but you don't know which way are you going. So it's it says like north south, but someone who's new to Los Angeles, I think it would be very difficult for people to know which direction are you going? Are you going north or south? Or, uh, But if you have a city name associated with that direction of the freeway, then it becomes very easy to drive and know which direction you're going towards. So enough about the Autobahn. The next level of road in Germany is called Bundesstraße. Bundesstraße, for me personally, there is... I feel like there's no difference between the Autobahn and the Bundesstraße. There is a speed limit as far as in when you're in the vicinity of a city, then speed limit is typically a hundred kilometers, I believe. But like the Autobahn, when you're out of that speed limit area, mm -hmm. then basically again is same like the Autobahn. It will have a sign where it's crossed off the speed limit, then you know you can drive as fast as you like. To recognize the Bundesstraße, the signs are in yellow, whereas Autobahn is blue and white, and the Straße is, I believe, black and yellow. As far as the driving experience, I personally have not felt a difference. So comparing the Bundesstraße to what we have in US, it would be equivalent of a highway. The next level of the road is the Landstrasse. Now, I'm a little confused. So if you're watching this and you're German, maybe you can explain what the difference is between Landstrasse and a Kreisstrasse. Um, I tried to look up online, but I really couldn't find anything that was significantly different. So Landstrasse are roads which are not Autobahn and not Bundesstraße. So these are roads that you find with, uh, within cities and uh, going off to the countryside and connecting different districts and overlapping different districts. And these are, in my mind, would be like a country road. So the Landstraße would be a normal street in USA. But the feel of it is more like a country road to me because there's just so much country in Germany. And there are typically just one lane. And whereas in US, we can have up to even, I believe, even three lanes street. Whereas on a Landstrasse, it's typically just one lane going one direction, the other lane going the other direction. 
In my personal experience overall, driving experience between US and Germany, I find driving in Germany so much easier and so much better. Overall, I think in Germany, drivers are very conscious about other people on the road. So that's why it makes it so much easier to drive in Germany. People are more structured, people follow rules. Whereas in USA, I personally find it very stressful now that I'm used to driving in Germany. So hopefully today I've given you some insight into driving in Germany, what it's like. And uh, the next video I'll do on this topic is more towards the rules and regulations of driving and also the street signs, which I also think are very similar to USA. There are differences, but it's not such a significant difference that someone could not easily get used to. So guys, this brings us to the end of this video. Hopefully this gives you some sort of an insight on driving in Germany. I find it very similar to USA. There are a lot of similarities as far as driving. So if you're coming from USA and wanting to drive in Germany, it is so much easier and it's very easy to adapt to the changes. I will do another video on this as far as the street signs street lights and i will also get into some of the laws of driving in germany but overall it's very easy to drive in germany i actually find it a lot less stress-free than in usa so this brings us to an end and i will see you guys next week tomorrow is thanksgiving so i might do a quick vlog on thanksgiving our first thanksgiving in germany which might be interesting so let's see if I do the vlog, I'll go ahead and upload it at some point this weekend. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys next week.